Hello everyone and welcome back to Stellaris. We are back with the Kazem RUD, our little empire here. Empire? No, no. Science Republic. Science Oligarchy. Something like that. Anyway, uh, I'll press unpause there. And we are slowly establishing ourselves, gaining research. Uh, our main problem right now is energy credits. We seem to have two friendly neighbors, but they're mysterious Delta aliens that we haven't made contact with. Oh, and there is a hostile fleet of ancient mining drones there right now. We need to build a whole lot more ships. Our fleets are not that good. Uh, anyway, reports of deep space drones in certain systems have been investigated. The drones appear to be workers and custodians of an autonomous orbital mining operation established millennia ago, and then soon abandoned by all but the drones themselves, judging from the state of the processing equipment. The drones seem to lack any diplomatic comm protocols, at least any decipherable by the Kazam RUD, and react with hostility to Kazam ships entering the system. Their presence in the mineral extraction operation system is intriguing, and we should attempt to learn more about them. Well, establish a listening post. Uh, let me uh, slow down there, and I would like, um, what was it? Uh, situation log. So, like, can we... Alien logs... Uh, Julao, we need uh, scientists present. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Um, in Limbo... Lafranda... I think we've got one on the way there. Drone study. Well, I think we should study these drones. So, we shouldn't blow them up first. But, I mean, we don't really have very good... Um, weaponry, so let's just focus on researching them even though it's going to cost us an engineering science. It's a risk, it's a risk. We'll have to think about that. But we prefer to research and learn rather than uh, just blow things up, right? Asteroid blast door, days left until roll. Sign a scientist to begin excavating. Okay, um... In Limbo, Cory, daughter of... Why are these both in Limbo? I think they were commanding ships, right? Anyway, she's at work on it. Okay, what construction? Ah, yes, very good. And we now have enough for another... Um, Starbase, so let's build a star base at Wei so that we can get those energy credits. Now uh, this one's doing the Lafranda in limbo. Oh, that's the in limbo. Right, that is actually a research project. Oh, in limbo was something useful that they were doing. Gosh darn it. Governor gained trait, okay. Um Seems to be approaching the limits of her abilities. Okay, now we have to consider what might be good to do with the... I mean, increasing the cap there. The negotiations for appointing a new coordinator are underway. The decision will be announced on April Fool's Day, apparently, uh, 2220. All right. I don't know if uh, the Kazam people have April Fool's Day, but maybe. Science ship. Uh, this one does not seem to be doing anything, and it's our premier science ship, in fact. Let's research projects in this system. Oh, uh, Limbo. The vault is a tomb for hopeful immortals. Scientist officer Cory, daughter of Utin, asserts that the huge blocks of ternary code found in the databanks are neural images, digitized brain scans. Doubtlessly, the aliens of Lavranda 6A considered this to be their only shot at any kind of survival following whatever calamity befell their planet. They did not have the means to resurrect themselves, but banked on the impossibly hope, small hope that eventually someone else would have those means. I let the dead aliens lie and we get 500 engineering. Uh, we do not, uh, but download their neural patterns for safekeeping. Uh, who knows? Maybe. I mean, if that's what they wanted, uh, we get some engineering research, it's fine. I mean, we have to respect that. I mean, yeah. Research station outpost, uh, output is definitely 
a good thing. Survey speed, no, we don't need to rush it or anything. Improved deflectors would be good, but research station output is a very broad benefit. A new ruler has been elected. Coordinator Milv, daughter of Larb, will rule until the next election, which will take place in 20 years. Okay, everything seems to be good. Oh, uh... Yeah, I guess we have to put... Oh, we were so close to improve Corvette hulls and we sent her to work on... Or him him to work on the drone study. Oh, well, we've got another tropical world at Rixum 3. So we might as well see if we can... Oh, I didn't really need to click on that. Um, build another colony ship. We have all the things... Thankfully, it doesn't require energy credits. Because that's the one thing we're short on. Other than that, we can go ahead and uh, develop new skills is good. Alright. So that's fine. Let's take a look at... Okay, Starbase. And a new ruler has been elected. Yeah, we already went through that. And Drayden Prime is an uh, established colony in the Kazakar sector. Very good. So in with us here. And we probably need more than one colony ship because we want one there in the Drellium Prime sector. And then we want to colonize at least that continental world. So, we'll just queue that up, I think, if we can. It looks like we can. Yep. Okay, how is our capital, as it were? doing well we can have another building here i really don't like the upkeep though so maybe we should hold off on that unless somehow they produce more energy credits than they consume mm, does not seem that way culture workers turn consumer goods into unity um we already had alloy foundries, but we could always do with more alloy foundries. It looks like we're our minerals, we've got quite a lot of those. But, you know, maybe, maybe we should leave that slot open for later, because we don't really know what we need right now, except for energy credits. And anything we build is going to take energy credits. So, I want mining stations there. Okay, we've got that in Hixum. And after the mining stations, we can uh, build. Special project Oop. complete. Miraculously, we managed to salvage parts of a Voltem data core that had been blown clear of the crater on Vixim 5A. Most of the data was corrupt, but our scientists did manage to properly translate the Korga, the basic Voltem time unit. Okay, minor artifacts found, energy engineering research gained. Good times. Okay, uh, do we have a free... Yes, they're free. I want... Yeah. Well, uh, you know, maybe Atmir, because of the energy credits, is more of a priority. Let me build a... I don't know how much... How many energy credits it costs to build a starbase. Hmm. What is the upkeep of a starbase? Let me just take a look at one and see if there's... That's a mining station. That's a star base. Upkeep is one unit. So, whoops. Net net, it should be good to build a star base around when there's two energy credits. The drones are remarkably efficient at squeezing ever diminishing returns from rocks Kazam miners would have soon discarded, deemed exhausted of all worthwhile mineral content. Our top engineers are working on adapting the drones methodology for use in the Kazam RUD's mining networks and stations, which should improve efficiency, effectively lessening energy expenditure. Of lesser import is the fact that drones are not completely silent, contrary to previous assumptions. They emit signal pings, though extremely infrequently and at a wavelength hard to isolate from the background noise. If there is anyone left to receive these pings, uh, may be a mystery for another time. Okay, drone destroyer modifier added, giving the following effects. Damage to ancient mining drones, 33%. Um, 
mining techniques modifier added, mining station minerals outputs. Um, maybe the ability to clear the mining drones would be helpful at this point. We've got a lot of minerals. But then again, straight up output benefit. I don't know how many of these ancient mining drones we're going to find. But having a whole lot of minerals might be a better thing. But we don't want to have encounters with these ancient mining drones, drones cost more Kazam lives. So. Okay. Gain a, my, uh, gain a level, archaeological thingamajig. Alright. Uh, I miss what the archaeological thingamajig was, but... Hopefully, hopefully not too important. Alright, I want to build a starbase there. Uh, no, not there. Here. Oh, we have to... Uh, wait, stop, stop. Okay, well, can you just go there? Move here. And build a starbase. There we go. All right. And we have finally done the Corvette hull. And planet build speed. Hmm. Coil gun, though. That'll give us... That'll be good. I would like a new weapon for once. I don't understand. I guess it's just building, building, uh, building stuff on planets. Is built planet build speed? Well, let's go with kinetic weapons. It seems like the kind of thing to do at this point. Okay. Well, we will soon have enough influence to build another station, but we're not quite there yet. Okay, we desperately need mining stations there, and we should exploit these energy credits up here. Okay, so actually Zaffa is where we want this one to build a new station. Starbase, I mean. I thought we had uh, chapter 2. Oh, we haven't proceeded on this. Very large structure of some kind occupies. This is what the uh, um, archaeology notification was about. Oh, we've got a lack of consumer goods. we got to watch out for that. Um, very large structure of some kind occupies most of the interior of asteroid TLDR H45. But the blast door, which once served as this structure's only entrance, ca uh, still can't be opened. But a passage has been dug from the other side of the asteroid. Drills have so far been unable to penetrate the thick outer walls of the structure. But this method still seems to afford the best chance of gaining access. Despite their age, the blast doors have proven nearly invulnerable. Okay, curious. We've still got a scientist working on it. Okay, good. Um, but let's continue with the situation log. Um, mining base completed. The Fist of God, we haven't... Uh, it's tracked on the map, but we haven't gone there. Have a world survey we haven't finished. Um, alien logs available. Julau. Okay, Rixum research that project. Yeah, we need something else to do that. Uh, let's get that science done. Uh, research station output. Well, research speed. Um, but. If our research station output is plus 10%, that's more than the research speed being 5%, right? But speed is different. Hmm. Hopefully we'll have this available still. Let's just get that research station output. Okay. Now, about consumer goods. This seems like a thing to build in... In, uh... Our capital, maybe, or maybe Drain. No, not yet. They haven't got enough population. So, college workers turn consumer goods into unity. No, we want to produce the consumer goods. Minerals into consumer goods seems like the thing we need to do. But upkeep is four, four of those energy units. 
Hmm. Yeah, it's all about turning consumer goods into other things. Okay, an analysis of the ship's logs revealed that the crew met its demise when trying to retrieve an irrepl irreplicable alien, alien artifact called the Rubricator. It was stolen from their society by a pack of thieving rats, a curious choice of words as they themselves are most rat-like in appearance. Hmm. Uh, the logs are mainly comprised of curses willing the rat robbers to the end of the universe and beyond. The crew has encountered upwards of 50 individual words for defecation. Has counted up to, okay. Uh, as well as a wide selection of places from which the star's light cannot escape. Okay, I get the point. Uh, we have uncovered the last known location of the Rubricator in a previously uncharted system, and if we are to believe its former owners, its powers are worth pursuing. We must have the Rubricator. <laughs> Situation log updated. Okay. Um... We, we can probably leave the consumer goods situation off for the time being until we can accumulate more energy credits. Because it seems like we'll need four energy credits to manage that. Let's build mining stations here. We need technology that will increase our energy credit production from stuff. Our mining production, I guess just our mining production from stuff. Okay, Harmony. I said we would go for Harmony. Let's go for Harmony now. Oh, wow, that's expensive. I don't know. Let me do something. Wow, it's all 1,000, uh, 129, huh? Star-based upkeep reduced by 20%. That's more like it. Anything about upkeep? Because that that's the money. That's the energy credits. Okay, uh, I guess Reach for the Stars. I mean, we should have gotten Reach for the Stars already. I mean, just by the name. Okay, so we've got that. We I've been keeping the colony ships sitting around. Colonize Rixum 3. Well, let's just call it Rixum 3 instead of Rick Everything Prime is no good. Rixum 3. Okay, archaeological site. A hole has finally been drilled through the outer walls of st structure inside TLDR H45. The interior is a vast command center or bunker of some sort, littered with the decayed remains of thousands of dead aliens. Sitting through, uh, I think it's sifting through all of this to gain a clearer picture of what exactly was going on inside this asteroid will take considerable time. Fascinating. Well, we've got a scientist on it. Okay, society... Oh, lots of research to do. Um, naval capacity from soldier jobs. Okay, I'll slow down the time right now. Mm, more society research. More research. More research is good. I think maybe more research options will be good. Strike craft. Mineral from miners. Uh, well, not minerals. I want energy credits from miners. Shoot. Well, reducing the cost of Corvettes so might be nice, but carrier operation seems far out when we've just got, I mean, we've only got Corvettes right now. Yeah, we've got a lot of minerals. I think we need to strike at these drones. I'm gonna start building ships to that effect. I should probably wait until we reduce the cost of them, but anyway. We don't know whether those are drones or not. But um, I'm gonna send everybody over. Just to give us the best odds without... ...causing any trouble. Okay, Furin, Malba... Wow, well, another starbase. I guess we have enough energy credits for it for now. Um, Hithram might be better. Yeah. Let's build a star base there. Let's build another star base here. Yeah. I don't wanna... I mean, uh, it looks like we only have one path and that's this way out. So we're gonna need to get those mining drones out of the way. 
here there's no opportunity to expand when these guys are here let's take a look at diplomacy and i guess whoop they're always keeping me on my toes with all the events happening fossilized remains from several different species that do not appear to have been indigenous to Drayden prime have been found in a large and secluded valley on the planet they all date from roughly the same time period within the span of a few centuries some 3.6 million years ago. Now, oh, that's specific. Each of these species seem to have evolved in its own unique biosphere and all appear to have been sapiens. Seems like they were engineered, right? I mean, anyway. Strangely, every fossilized individual found so far sh shows signs of having met a violent end. Engineered and then disposed of. Uh... Okay, archaeological site, fossilized remains. Fossilized remains from several different species that do not appear to have been indigenous to Drayden Prime have been found. Yeah, 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 we got all that. Uh, yep. Okay, so we need a scientist to do stuff there. They're, uh, they're all busy. I need a new scientist. So hold on. Let me try and hire a new scientist. Leaders. Scientists. Look at how many scientists we have. That tells you what our priorities are right there. That said, I would like a cheap scientist. Um, research speed, new worlds. Though, you know, that's not too bad. And this scientist is young. Anomaly discovery chances, too. Um, let's get the young one. Okay, so let's... Yes, that one. Scientist... Wait, why can't we... Oh, I guess it has to be somebody on a ship. Shoot. When you say busy commanding, I mean, that. A... you do this. I mean, I guess we it requires somebody with a ship anyway. This colony ship can be deployed to Drayden. And we want to get Drayden 3A. Continental World. Okay, um, the Otheti Forerunners. Hazams, we understand that your empire has come into possession of a cache of data containing the brain scans of an extinct species. Good thing we didn't delete them. Uh, taken from the very world they once inhabited. Even though your species is still too primitive to utilize this data, we laud your efforts in preserving this last remnant of a once vibrant civilization. As part of our efforts to conserve and catalog endangered species in our Endangered Species Preserve, um, we wish to take this data and use our cloning technologies to bring a small number of this species back to life. Please share with us. Let's see, what are the benefits? Population of long dead and adnoran species will be created in the Othetian uh, Endangered Species Preserve. They will be pleased and may show us favor in the future. Well. No point pissing them off right now, especially if they have advanced technologies to clone these people. Oh, nice planet. Yeah, Secundus is fine. Order's open. We no longer see any reason to keep you locked out of our territory. Ooh, okay. Science it is. Okay, so maybe we can do some science through... Um... Okay, maybe it was them. Who who gave me permission? To you again. Like, uh, when was it not open to us? I don't understand. If the borders are open, can't my sand ships go through to them? I guess it's because of the hostilities here. Oh well. Alright. Well, we'll soon have a fleet capable of dealing with those hostiles. Oh, what happened? Low stockpile. Oh god, our how did we lose so many energy credits? Oh, it must be the ships. Oh god. Um, okay, hold on. Pause. Time for the marketplace. I want Oh, resource is not tradable. I mean, can we sell that for Okay, uh, it just automatically gives us the energy credits. Okay, I'm gonna sell a thousand. Yeah, that'll be fine for now. 
what we need to do is lose some of our ships, I guess. We have received a communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire that call themselves the Regime of Kenjor Prime. They claim to have learned of our existence by listening in on the communication of another empire we're in contact with. Okay, alien creature, I speak on behalf of Grand Marshal, well that's the bad sign, Mubi, son of Siga, uh, the undisputed ruler of the Regime of Kenjor Prime. Respect our borders and keep out of Kenjodan uh, affairs. Oh, they're right there, aren't they? Um, and perhaps our mighty fleets will refrain from visiting your wretched worlds. Um, our standard reading will be fine. We have learned of a new strategic resource encountered on Rulin 5 in the territories of... Well, great. That's not going to help us. We have detected what appears to be a naturally occurring subspace phenomena on the edge of the Wifrus system. A rift in the very fabric of space-time has formed here, creating a wormhole that our scientists speculate may provide a conduit through subspace to another wormhole located somewhere else in our galaxy. Depending on where the second wormhole is located, this could potentially allow ships to travel from one end of the galaxy to another in a matter of days. Unfortunately, this wormhole, like the vast majority of its kind, is inherently unstable. Any vessels foolish enough to pass through it would be ripped apart in seconds. Well, we need to stabilize that because we're getting a little bit cramped in here. To be frank, there's not a whole lot of exploring left to do in this neck of the woods. Okay, yes, and there's a lot of strategic resources in... There's a big place. Let's take a look at the scale. Ooh, this regime of Kenjo Prime is really big. Actually, this Serenic Republic is pretty big, too. We've really been slacking. Yeah, okay, all the strategic reserves. Well, I mean... Yeah. Good luck. If they're a regime, they're not going to be friendly. But maybe we can get this Mizar. They haven't been able to get the Mizar. And maybe this place isn't claimed by them. That really puts the emphasis on having our resources over here. Let's get one construction ship over here immediately. Actually, both of them. Oh, Coordinator Milv has died. And he's merging. That says it's sleeping. Merging with first star or Okay, good. And now, proceed. Seems like... Even if it's an unsurveyed system, we can go to it as long as there's something to attack. Is that how that works? Oh, here we go. Alright, battle. Well, these guys seem- the drones seem to be in very tight formation. As we lose ships, our energy credit balance is getting much better. <laughs> Oh, that's harsh. Uh, there's a rivalry between Kenjor Prime and the Irenic Republic. Makes sense. They're both pretty big. Okay. Ruler elected. No, that's because our old ruler died. Um, time projects. Oh, hold on. Then let's not go so fast, but... Um, debris. Oh, that's probably the time project. Okay. Research project. Okay, let's move in. Construction ships. Let's just do it from the map here. Um, oh, we have to get a science ship to investigate. They're all pretty busy excavating. I need another science ship. Well, we've got a scientist that's sitting around doing squat, so maybe we can get a quick science ship in. Though, the upkeep, you know. Okay, um, physics research, pass the overload, improve deflectors. I like that. I mean, the survey speed is important to us. Automatic expedition, exploration. Hmm. But, I mean, if we're in a corner, that's not so helpful. Improve deflectors. I think at this point, we have to be serious. Oh, we've got no scientists doing that. Uh, go ahead, uh, you can do that then. 
That, uh, that scientist probably was the one that died. Okay, well, in that case, we will leave that be. And... Now oh, we do have a science ship there, okay. Requires a sign. Oh, we need a scientist on it. Why is there no scientist on it? We need a nurse. So many scientists. Okay. Anomaly discovery chance. Sounds like somebody who should be on a ship. Um, no, I've bought it to a signer. Okay, now we can go. Survey system. Okay, maybe if we take a look at this, our scientists will be freed. No, probably still needs to do stuff. Okay, pause, please. Okay, mining drone lasers, progress, uh, physics research points, very good. Okay, now, you go there. You're now free. Please survey that system. Uh, ship coming in, you actually go there and survey that system. That'd be good. All right, now, this asteroid once served as the hidden capital of a relatively large interstellar empire that dominated this section of the galaxy several thousand years ago. From this fortified command center, the ruling elite, along with thousands of military and civilian officials, administered the empire while safe from the violent reprisals their harsh policies often inspired. An underground Death Star? Uh, anyway. Contact, uh, basically is the Death Star, right? I mean, that depends on how you look at the asteroid. Contact with the rest of the Empire seems to have been handled exclusively through encrypted subspace transmissions and a single freighter <laughs> which made periodic visits to resupply the base and transfer personnel. Yeah, that's pretty remarkable, yeah. Okay, well, she's still busy researching stuff. So, still excavating. Chapters. Chapters in excavation. Okay, no longer pause. We've got some opportunities here, and we really need to use them quickly. Uh, we've accumulated some influence points, but it's probably going to cost a lot to build uh, the starbase at Mizar, because we've got competing, potentially competing claims from our neighbors. A weakly habitable ocean world, but we've got an ocean world, right? I mean... The Relium Prime is an ocean world. It's not doing too badly. Oh, it's got five pop now. Um, resources. Our food is actually going down. We need to watch out for that. So speaking of which, let's go to Dorelian Prime and do something that can generate some food. Hydroponic farms. I mean, our energy credits are bad, but um, farmer jobs produce food. I guess. I mean, that seems to be the way to produce food, right? Let's go for it. Hopefully it's gonna be enough food. It says farmer jobs, but I mean, base production, is it 12 food really? Percent per month? Complete. Hey leader, gained a level. You got the Corvettes, build speed and cost. Space torpedoes, ion thrusters. We've already gotten some research on ion thrusters. I guess we could continue on with that. Fleet command limit plus 10. Ooh, unlocks ship type destroyers though. I think that'll be better. Ion thrusters are tempting though, always. As long as I don't have to actually conduct the ion burns, you know. It's on route. What? Oh, leader died. We need to pick younger leaders. Uh, that's uh, up to the election. Oh, we can uh, have an influence. I want somebody young. Um, wait, I saw energy credits. Energy credits from some jobs of some kind. I want things that produce energy credits. Increasing influence might be good. Citizen population happiness is always good too. Oh, I should take a look at this. Colony ship build cost. Leader lifespan. Food from jobs. Well, food is another consideration. Population growth speed. Colony ship. Building cost. District cost. Plant build speed.
When we say building costs, that 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 that's actual, not the construction cost. Hmm. Oh wait. Uh, hold on. Um, uh, pause, please. Uh, ruler elected. Oh, I did. I took too long. They picked the per good person. It's fine. Ongoing research lacks a scientist. Busy commanding, surveying. Well, we'll have to recruit another scientist. Articles. I mean, what we're trying to fill here is engineering. These are not engineering peoples. We need to switch out the surveying. Uh, this scientist needs to be... Yeah. And whatever ship was handling that, let's assign a new leader. Let's just go with this cheap one. <laughs> Tag son of Mubi. Okay, so that's good. Archaeological site. Reti, daughter of Jerk, discovered an ancient cache of resources among the ruins on TLDR H45. They are even now in the process of being shipped off to our stores. 1,500 minerals. Well, let's just exchange some because we sure don't need more minerals. Let's go to the market and sell. Let's see, is there a benefit on the rate? Market fee 30% either way. It seems like it doesn't really matter. Let me just sell 3,000 of them. That'll get us good. And maybe... Yeah, those should be fine for the time being, though. I have to watch out for that. Okay. Uh, continue. System survey complete. Excellent. Because we need to move that sign ship on to the next system right there. Now, our construction ship, um, well, one of you goes there, builds a star base. Oh, that's actually pretty cheap. I thought it'd be more expensive. We have sighted ships flying the flag of the Fist of God in the Hantaron system. They have charged their weapons and are moving to intercept us there. Okay, battle stations, but more importantly, send our fleet there. Um, yeah, they're weak. They're weak. Good. Even though this fleet is still healing. Get the science ship back here. Get our fleet back over there. Attack those guys. And we'll continue surveying as planned. Now we've got this unemployed population. Hold on. Um, right, yeah, they'll, they'll slaughter them. It's fine. How do we employ them anyway? Situation log updated. We have defeated the cultist forces encountered so far. Okay, special project. Um, you guys, can you quickly handle that? Uh, resurvey the system first. Okay, society research. Leader pool size, leader cost. I want to reduce the leader cost, that would be good. They're pretty expensive. What? Uh, they, the re science researcher died right when I was about to... Uh, okay, recruit. Construction complete. Um, biology should be an okay fit in that slot. Okay, archaeological site. A uh, section of floor at the ruins being excavated on Dratum Prime recently gave way, sending several of our archaeologists tumbling down a small chasm. Fortunately, they not only emerged unharmed in the incident, but they are also they also find several artifacts. Okay, and that continues. Uh, yes, that leader died. Construction ship has done that construction, and. We've got a Eta alien vessel, possibly hostile there. Natural wormhole there. I would like to... Epsilon Indy is actually a thing. Um, yeah, I want a research station and all that stuff there, but we need to build a whole bunch. So hopefully our science ship is scanning 
Hantaron, surveying Hantaron. Okay. I don't know about these Ada aliens, but let's not antagonize them just yet. And that is surveying Epsilon Indy. Very good. Everybody's doing stuff. I mean, uh, as far as the science ships are concerned. We can't build destroyers quite yet. There is a hostile force over here that we need to take care of, so let's start building... Well, our funds, though. Hmm. We need every available method to reduce costs. But... Oh, Dorelian Prime, they're, they're all... Um, overcrowding, though. We need housing? Hydroponics farms are good. Uh, let's upgrade this um, reassembled ship shelter. Oh, upkeep is increased. Housing plus five, though. So, okay, uh, but we need... I don't know why we can't build this one. Why can't we upgrade? Uh, we've got the minerals. Oh, we need population greater than 10. Well then, maybe I should have just made housing instead of this hydroponics farm. Hmm. Okay, gain a level. Archaeological site. Archaeologists have unearthed more and more fossilized remains in the valley, and the count is now up to 26 different sapien species, none of them native to Dratum Prime. Those fossils that have been sufficiently preserved to determine the cause of death all point towards physical trauma inflicted by blades, spears, spears or arrows. Well, that's not advanced. I thought they were like being engineered or something. Not a single specimen appears to have been filled by the equivalent of modern projectile or energy weapons. The ruins of a small structure of some sort have been found near the entrance of the valley. It appears to originate from the same time period as the fossils. Perhaps it will sh shed some light on things. Okay, very curious. Keep researching. Okay, so we're trying to expand out to here, but I'm going to pause the game there. And I think this is quite a long episode already, so say uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.